Most people dream about playing in the NBA and they want the life of a professional athlete. The money, the fame, the benefits, it's what every kid wants growing up. But in a profession that is unlike any other, you have a very short window to do what you can to play the game because it's highly competitive and if you can't jump or shoot like you used to, you're out. And then what? There's no retirement, there's no 401k for retired athletes, and if you weren't smart with your money, there could be like starting over from square one. But if you gained a enough rapport or money over your career to start the next phase of your life and we're going to be going over five athletes that are retired now who work regular nine to five jobs now and the first on our list is Seattle Supersonics legend Sean Kemp the six-time all-star was one of the most athletic freaks the NBA has ever seen he was 6'10 and postered anyone who dared to stand under the rim but even NBA legends have to find new passions or sources of income after retirement and Sean Kemp found his love for sports and food and opened a sports bar right after he retired in 2003 and he found a lot of success but nobody's immune to capitalism and he had to shut it down in 2015 due to rising rent prices and not able to have enough funds to keep it open he's loved the restaurant business is now a part owner of amber's kitchen in seattle so if you're ever in seattle you want to stop by amber's kitchen and you're more than likely going to get 610 power forward serving your appetizers which is so cool next up we have six time champion Scotty Pippen. You might see him on TV every now and then giving his takes and analysis on the current state of the NBA, but if he's not doing that or filming for The Last Dance, what is the seven-time All-Star doing? Well, he's from Hamburg, Arkansas, and he played his college ball at Central Arkansas, and he actually moved back to his home state, and he now owns a livestock farm with his brothers. This is incredibly hard work and so different and has nothing to do with sport. And I guess that's what you get when you let Michael Jordan take your entire salary cap and you signed one of the most disrespectful contracts in NBA history. Seriously though, when I was watching The Last Dance and seeing what he was getting paid, it was just depressing. I mean, I know he's just from a small town in Arkansas and he wanted to get a long-term contract and be secured, but what his production was, he should have been making 10 times more. And I think he's doing very well off the court, so I'm really glad to see him just do what he loves back with his family. Next up, we have LaRue Martin. He was once the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. In 1972, the Portland Trailblazers selected him and they had huge expectations. Well, things never really panned out for them because in his rookie season, he only averaged 4.4 points and 4.6 rebounds with limited minutes. And he was even benched for an entire game in his rookie season just because he was playing so bad. He would only go on to average 5.3 points in a very short four-year NBA career. And when you're selected number one overall, you're expecting generational wealth. But what is someone doing that drafted in the early 1970s who only played a small role for four years. Well, after a short stint as an employee at the Nike headquarters in Portland, Oregon, he became an employee at UPS and he worked his way all the way up and he is currently a community service manager for the company. He started working there in the mid 1980s and still works there to this very day. And that's where I just want to say nothing in the NBA is certain. Not even a number one overall pick is guaranteed a career in the NBA. If you're not producing, you're out and you're gonna need to find another job another player we saw in the last dance in his second on the all-time NBA career scoring list is Carl Malone apart from having the best last name of all time which we share he is one of the best players to ever step on an NBA court his muscles and his sheer dominant on the court will be talked about forever but that's not what we're gonna be talking about today we're gonna be looking at another hard-working Arkansas man who got into several business endeavors after his incredible NBA career. He is very hands-on with his businesses and actually a truck driver for one of his companies. So if you're ever in the Midwest strolling along on the highway, be on the lookout for the mailman because he always delivers. And wow, I'm just putting this together now. That is officially the best nickname of all time. Not only when he was playing, but off the court that he actually delivers things now. The last player we're going to be looking at today is David Harrison. Once a McDonald's All-American in high school, he went on to be drafted by the Indiana Pacers in 2004. He not only struggled on the court with production, but the center had issues with teammates, on the court brawls, and drug issues. 
issues. He was out of the league just after four short years and actually came around full circle and got a job at McDonald's. That's why I mentored it earlier when he was in high school. He was heavily criticized for this and because he was recognized by a ton of people and just harassed and he ended up quitting this job. But now he's a full-time stock trader and plays a completely different kind of game than he did in the NBA. And hopefully he held on to his Bitcoin and GameStop stock when he's able to make more money off the court than he ever did on the court. But apparently he's very happy doing this and he doesn't see himself stopping anytime soon. So even though so many people wish they were NBA players, we see it's a very volatile job to have and you're not secured at all. I mean, an injury, poor production, and if you're the 12th, the 13th man on the bench, you're situation is not secure at all you'd be going overseas to the g league and it's just unless you're a top elite star like clay thompson who can be injured for multiple years in a row and still be on a max contract you're just really not safe you're really not secure and even after you retire if you weren't smart with it you're kind of out of luck so it's really cool um these people have a lot of success and all five of these guys love what they're doing now this is not sadly not always the case and a lot of athletes get caught not doing having any money being homeless after they just spend it all but these five people are really enjoying what they're doing with their regular nine to five jobs after the nba career thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video it was super fun to make there's a lot more examples we could go over uh not all of them are as happy or as exciting as this where they're happy with their jobs but let me know down in the comments another person that you know that's working a nine to five job and i will see you all tomorrow peace